Markers in Articulate Storyline are a super easy way to instantly turn a static slide into something explorable. And here's an example of that. I've inserted a picture of a map on this slide, and there are a few areas I want my learners to know about. It's very easy for them to see what to explore. All they got to do is hover and click on any of these round markers here, and up pops some additional content that I want them to see. And that content might be text like this one, or maybe you want to include a picture on your marker. You can even include a movie like the one that we see here. You can also incorporate audio into any of your markers as well. So markers are a great way to create a click and reveal or hover reveal type of interaction. Here's another example. In this one, we've got some markers along the bottom of the slide that the learner can explore. It's just a series of ingredients, and we can click on any of these orange dots here to see the quantities that we need for a specific activity. And markers are also great for technical diagrams or product images like this one where you want your learners to be able to explore you know, maybe some critical features or components. So let's check out how easy it is to add markers to a slide. Here we are in Storyline. I've got some content on my slide. I've already added a few markers to get us started. Each of these red ones you know, points to a particular part of the picture. But let's say that we also want to create a little information button that serves to kind of orient learners to this interaction. Well, we can use a marker for that too. So what I'm going to do is come up to the Insert tab and then choose Marker. And then we can select the symbol that we want to use. I'm going to use this little question mark since we're creating an info button. And then we can just click on the slide to add the marker. Now, if I don't like the initial location, I can easily just drag this wherever I want. I can you know, click and drag just like I can any other object. And also, if I put it over here, you can see how you know, the label spills off to the side. Well, we can change that. We'll just drag the label to a different spot. We can also resize this if we need to. And now that the label's opened up here, I can just start customizing. So let's go ahead and add some content. I'm going to call this About the Brewer. And then I've also got some text that I can paste into the description. So there we go. And I've also got an option to add media. So up here on the Format tab, I can choose to add some sound, either from a file where I've already recorded, or I can record right here in Storyline. And with the Media button, I can add a picture, or I can add a movie from various sources. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose Video from File, because I've got this MP4 that I want to drop in here. Now you'll notice that this is kind of scrunched up here now, and we've got these scroll bars. But I'm going to change that. I just want a little bit more room here for my movie. And I'm also going to change this because I want to add a play bar. I want my learners to be able to pause and rewind the movie. So I can select the movie and come up here to my options and say show video controls. And that kind of makes it a little easier for them to interact with my content. Now another nice thing is I can format my marker and my label however I want. If I need this to look different, I just come up to my Format tab and I can choose any of the ready-made styles here, like I kind of like this green one, or I can choose a custom fill color or a custom border color. I can even choose a different color for my icon. Right now it's white and maybe I want to change it to something else. Really easy to do. And I've got similar options for the label as well. So I can go with a ready-made style or a custom label fill or a custom label border color. Now you might also notice in the samples that we looked at a minute ago, some of the markers had a little pulse or swirl animation and some did not. And we can change that for any marker right here on the Format tab. We come over here to the Animate dropdown and we can choose No Animation or we can choose the Swirl or the Pulse. We'll just go with None for this one. And if I change my mind about which icon to use, that's no problem either. I can just head back up to the Format tab, choose Change Icon, and maybe we want to use this one instead, that's really easy to change. So let's go ahead and preview this and see how things look. So here's the markers that I added earlier, right? And then here's the new one that we just added. So it opens up, our movie plays, we've got the play bar just like we designed, and everything looks great. So markers are one of the fastest and easiest ways to create an interactive, explorable slide like this one in just a few seconds.